forth at the suggestion of Elon Musk, who has given me his complete and total endorsement. That's nice. He's a smart guy. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. It's very, very much appreciated. I will create a government efficiency commission tasked with conducting a complete financial and performance audit of the entire federal government and making recommendations for drastic reforms. We need to do it. Can't go on the way we are now. And Elon, because he's not very busy, has agreed to head that task force. Be interesting. If he has the time, that would be a good one to do it. But he's agreed to do it. In 2022, fraud and improper payments alone cost taxpayers an estimated hundreds of billions of dollars. As the first order of business, this commission will develop an action plan to totally eliminate fraud and improper payments within six months. This will save trillions of dollars, trillions. It's massive. For the same service that you have right now, trillions of dollars is wasted and gone and nobody knows where it went. Further taming inflation and bringing prices way down. Third, I will launch a historic campaign to liberate our economy from crippling regulation. My first term, I pledged to cut two old regulations for every one new regulation, and we did much better than that, as I've said. Yet over the past four years, Kamala has added $6,300 a year in regulatory costs onto the backs of the typical American family. Think of that. To stop this onslaught at lower prices, I'm pledging today that in my second term, we will eliminate a minimum of 10 old regulations for every one new regulation. We'll be able to do that quite easily, actually. To address this dire energy crisis that Kamala and Joe have created, I will immediately issue a national emergency declaration to achieve massive increase in domestic energy supply, which you're going to need. Electricity is desperately needed for AI, AI controversial, but we got to be the top of it. And we would need, hard to believe, twice the electricity that we currently have right now for everything in order to be dominant. And China is already building massive electricity producing plants. We haven't even thought about it. We will think about it, and I'll get it done on an emergency basis. So we'll be the leader in AI and every other form of technology. With these sweeping authorities, we will blast through every bureaucratic hurdle to issue rapid approvals for new drilling, new pipelines, new refineries, new power plants, new electric plants, and reactors of all types. Prices will fall immediately in anticipation of this tremendous supply that we can create rather quickly. Second, to further defeat inflation, my plan will terminate the Green New Deal, which I call the Green New Scam. Greatest scam in history, probably. A $10 trillion scam that we waste, we throw, like throwing money right out the window. It actually sets us back as opposed to moves us forward and rescind all unspent funds under the misnamed Inflation Reduction Act, which the Democrats agreed after it was approved that it wasn't for that purpose. It was for other purposes, like giveaways. Kamala spent $7.5 billion to build eight charging stations. Think of a charging station like a fuel pump with electricity coming out of it. Eight charging stations in the Midwest for electric vehicles cost billions and billions of dollars. 7.5 billion, they think, but the costs are still going, and three of them don't work, and never will, probably. Other than that, it's worked out quite well. I will end the electric vehicle mandate, stop the appalling waste, and save taxpayers an estimated $1 trillion dollars.